I'm sure Canada is not on your mind if you want to migrate by 2022 because as at the time of this recording, there are over 1.8 million pending Canadian visa application. Can you imagine that? So we have provided a list of top 5 easiest countries to migrate to from Nigeria that you might not know. If that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you give this video a like, comment and subscribe. Let's go! Number 5. No way. Education is the easiest way to migrate and when it comes to education, no way has some of the best schools in the world. First thing you need to know, which some of you might not know, is that studying in Norway way is free yes tuition free and application free even for international students when you attend the public universities this is because no way believes that everyone should have access to education regardless of social economic background all you need to do is research on the school that suits your chosen course apply by providing the necessary requirements with your no way student residence permits you can travel to 25 different different countries within the Schengen area. Countries like France, Germany, Greece, Spain, Switzerland, Austria and so on. I will be putting the link of the list of schools you can apply to to study in Norway in the description box below. So check them out. Number 4. Belize. Belize is a Central American country. Beautiful, boast of cultural integration, low cost of living, easy integration because it is an English speaking country. Country. It is pretty easy to fully migrate to Belize. The first step is to acquire a 30 days visit visa. Once you have that and you are in the country, all you need to do is renew the visa every 30 days for the next 50 weeks. After the 50 weeks, you will need to pay a couple of thousand dollars to secure your permanent residence. You can also secure a work permit in the process so you don't spend 50 50 weeks without a job. After staying in Belize for 5 years, you can now apply for citizenship. Interesting, right? Number 3. Mexico. Mexico is situated in North America. It offers a low cost of living as well as great food. Here is the great thing. You can get an FMM visa which stands for Former Migratoria Multiple. I hope I got that right. The FMM visa allows you to stay in Mexico for 180 80 days for just $30. When the visa expires, you can renew it a limitless amount of time while still staying in the country. Number 2. Portugal. Portugal offers what they call the D7 visa, which is an excellent choice for foreigners seeking to settle or retire in Portugal if they have a stable recurring income or if they are able to work remotely for an employer outside Portugal. The Portugal D7 visa offers a path to residency in as little as four to six months. While the D7 visa is frequently referred to as Portuguese retirement visa, the program is in fact open to applicants of any age from any country as long as you are able to meet the program's eligibility requirements, which is majorly proof of fund. If you enjoyed this video and the video has been helpful, give this video a like, comment, subscribe and also also share. Now number one, UK, the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom offers four different options for you to migrate to the UK easily. Option one, global talent visa. You can apply for a global talent visa to work in the UK if you're an expert in the following field, academics or research, arts and culture, and digital technology. You must be at least 18 years old to apply. Option two, skilled worker visa. A skilled worker visa allows you to come or stay in the UK to do an eligible job with an approved employer. This visa has replaced the general work visa. The third option, the graduate route, which provides an opportunity for international students who have been awarded degrees to study in the UK and work or look for work at any skill level or for two years or three years for doctorate students. Option four, Tech Nation Visa. The Tech Nation Visa enables the brightest and best tech talent from around the world to come and work in the UK's digital technology sector, contributing their cutting-edge 
expertise, creativity, and innovation to maintain the UK's position at the forefront of the global digital economy. I'm sure you're already making up your mind on which country you are going to migrate to by 2022. Take your time with the list we provided. Take your time to research more on which that suits you best. If you have any other question, let me know in the comment section. The links to all the countries I've mentioned, their links are in the description box below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Share to someone that might need this video. Good luck and see you on the next video. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. On today's episode, I'll be listing 10 different countries you can migrate to from Nigeria. You know what I mean? Japa. So if you're thinking of um, a country to migrate to and you're really confused, now this blog is strictly for you. Now before I proceed, please kindly subscribe to my channel, you know, click on that notifications icon so that every time I make a new post, you'll be the first to get it. Now let's get into it. Now if you're thinking of a country to migrate to from Nigeria, now there are several countries to consider. I have listed 10 different countries you can migrate to from Nigeria without, you know, much stress. <laughs> Let me put it that way. So there are basically a few things to consider. Um, I'm talking about in terms of the law of the country. For example, if you're a smoker and don't plan to stop smoking very soon, you should not, you know, consider countries where smoking is a crime. Number two, you have to consider um, the language barrier. Number three, the ease of getting job as a foreigner. Number four, sometimes we don't want to talk about this, racism. No Number five, the cost of living. Number six, health care. Number seven, the economy of the country. So now these are some of the factors to consider. Again, it doesn't matter whether you are planning to go for school or work or study or probably just want to go there to live. So now these are some of the countries you should consider. Number one, the New Zealand. Now, why the New Zealand? New Zealand is a country that offers so many opportunities for immigrants. So for example, um, you have to consider factors like the economy of New Zealand, number two, um, the ease of getting your permanent residency, and number three, any child you give birth to in New Zealand automatically becomes citizens. And the country is also, you know, um, it offers good jobs. So I think you should consider, you know, um, New Zealand if you're making these travel plans. Number two, you should consider Japan. You know, it has good education, you know, low crime rate, although there's a language barrier. But however, um, you can basically learn the language, you know, within a few months. You know, it, have, it offers good jobs and, you know, there is, it's a very peaceful country. So now, this is another country to consider, you know, when you're making that exit plan. Number three, Austria. Austria has good working condition, you know, um, there's low crime rate, you know, they, they are good jobs. And it's just a country with about 8.9 million people. So which makes it another country to consider when, you know, when you're, you know, making the exit plan. Number four, the United Arab Emirates. Now, this is one of the top tourism countries in the world, and it is a less populated country. So, which make which makes it very good for you know for people that are looking for you know um, job opportunities. It also, and the ease of migrating from your country, you know, from Nigeria to the UAE, makes it another country to consider when you're when you're planning to migrate from Nigeria. Number five, Germany. Now, Germany it provides loads of job opportunities. Um, there is low crime rate. It's a good country to consider when you're making that um, migration plan. It offers good health care. Um, the country is good. So you should consider Germany as one of your you know, favorite countries. When Although there's a language barrier, but you know, you can always learn that language within some few months. Number six, Netherlands. Now, Netherlands is an English-speaking country, which makes it another spot to consider. You know, it offers good jobs. You know, um, the country is very peaceful. The economy is good. You should consider the Netherlands and the ease of migrating to Netherlands is also a factor you should look into. Seven, Australia. Yes, I know Australia is pretty far. It's also another country with you know good economy. The weather is pretty good. And guess what? Australia offers free tuition or let me say low tuition for some courses. So which makes it a very good country to consider if you are making you know the exit plan. So um also Australia as a you know good um healthcare system it is pretty cheap to live in australia so this is some of the fact these are some of the factors to look into when you're making that exit plan number eight canada now canada is one of the top countries nigerians have been traveling to in the last five years and that's because you know canada has a permanent residency um, plan where people can you know once you meet some certain requirements you can apply for permanent residency from Nigeria. So which makes it a very good option in the sense that like Canada has good healthcare system. The country is 
pretty cheap to live in compared to some other you know European countries or some American countries the country has very low crime rates and it is an English speaking country now this is why you should consider Canada number nine the UK now the UK is obviously one of the top five countries in the world now the UK has good educational system and they have good healthcare jobs and UK is you know migrant friendly so which makes it a very good option when you're planning uh, or when you're looking for countries to migrate to so you also have to consider the fact that UK has pretty good weather and there are loads of Nigerians living in the UK so which makes it a good option number 10 number 10 is the United States of America now the USA is the most powerful country in the world and I'm talking about um, one of the biggest economy, the strongest economy. Um, it has good healthcare system. They are, you know, tourist friendly, migrant friendly, and for the fact that it has, it still has one of the highest collection of black people in the world. So, which makes it a good option if you are planning, if or if you are looking, to, if you are planning to migrate from Nigeria. So, these are some of the top ten countries to consider when you are making your migration plan. If if you're yet to subscribe, please kindly click on the subscribe button and the notification button to show that every time I make a new post, you'll be the first to get it. Now, see you next week. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome to my channel. On today's episode, I'll be listing 10 different countries you can migrate to from Nigeria. You know what I mean? Jackpot. So if you're thinking of um, a country to migrate to and you're really confused, now, this blog is strictly for you. Now, before I proceed, please kindly subscribe to my channel. You know, click on that notification icon so that Every time I make a new post, to be the first to get it. Now, let's get into it. Now, if I'm thinking of a country to migrate to for Nigeria, now there are several countries to consider. I have listed 10 different countries you can migrate to for Nigeria without you know, much stress. <laughs> Let me put it that way. So, there are basically a few things to consider. Um, I'm talking about in terms of the law of the country. For example, if you're a smoker and don't plan to stop smoking very soon, you should not you know, consider countries where smoking is a crime. Number two, you have to consider um, the language barrier. Number three, the ease of getting job as a foreigner. Number four, sometimes we don't want to talk about this, racism. No Number five, the cost of living. Number six, healthcare. Number seven, the economy of the country. So now these are some of the factors to consider. Again, it doesn't matter whether you are planning to go for school or work or study or probably just want to go there to live. So now these are some of the countries you should consider. Number one the new zealand now why the new zealand new zealand is a country that offers so many opportunities for immigrants so for example um you have to consider factors like the economy of new zealand number two um the ease of getting your permanent residency and number three any child you give birth to in new zealand automatically becomes citizens and the country is also you know um, it offers good jobs so i think you should consider you know um New Zealand if you're making these travel plans. Number two, you should consider Japan. You know, it has good education, you know, low crime rates, although there's a language barrier. But however, um, you can basically learn the language, you know, within a few months. You know, it, have, it offers good jobs and, you know, there is, it's a very peaceful country. So now, this is another country to consider, you know, when you're making that exit plan. Number three, Austria. Austria has good working condition, you know, um, there's low crime rates, you know, they are, they are good jobs and it's just a country with about 8.9 million people so which makes it another country to consider when you know when you're you know making the exit plan number four the united arab emirates now this is one of the top tourism countries in the world and it is a less populated country so which make which makes it very good for you know for people that are looking for you know um job opportunities it also, and the ease of migrating from your country you know from nigeria to the uae makes it another country to consider when you're pl you planning to migrate from nigeria number five germany now germany, it provides loads of job opportunities and um, there's low crime rate it's a good country to consider when you're making that um migration plan it offers good health care um the country is good so you should consider germany as one of your you know favorite countries when although there's a language barrier but you know you can always learn that language within some few months Number six, Netherlands. Now, Netherlands is an English-speaking country, which makes it another spot to consider. You know, it offers good jobs. You know, um, the country is very peaceful. The economy is good. You should consider the Netherlands. And the ease of migrating to Netherlands is also a factor you should look into. Seven, Australia. Yes, I know Australia is pretty far. It's also another country with, you know, good economy. The weather is pretty good. 
and guess what australia offers free tuition or let me say low tuition for some courses so which makes it a very good country to consider if you are making you know the exit plan so um also australia has a you know good um healthcare system it is pretty cheap to live in australia so this is some of the fact these are some of the factors to look into when you're making that exit plan number eight canada now canada is one of the top countries nigerians have been traveling to in the last five years and that's because you know canada has a permanent residency um, plan where people can you know once you meet some certain requirements you can apply for permanent residency from nigeria so which makes it a very good option in the sense that like canada has good healthcare system the country is pretty cheap to live in compared to some other you know european countries or some american countries the country has very low crime rates and it is an english-speaking country so this is why you should consider canada number nine the uk now the uk is obviously one of the top five countries in the world now the uk has good educational system and they have good health care jobs and uk is you know migrant friendly so which makes it a very good option when you're planning uh, when, you, or when you're looking for countries to migrate to so you also have to consider the fact that uk has pretty good weather and there are loads of nigerians living in the uk so which makes it a good option number 10 number 10 is the united states of america now the usa is the most powerful country in the world and i'm talking about um one of the biggest economy the strongest economy um it has good healthcare system they are you know tourist friendly migrant friendly and for the fact that it has it still has one of the highest collection of black people in the world so which makes it a good option if you're planning if, or if you're looking to, if you're planning to migrate from nigeria so these are some of the top 10 countries to consider when you're making your migration plan if, if you're yet to subscribe please kindly click on the subscribe button and the notification button so that every time i make a new post you'll be the first to get it now see you next week bye